government banning uh, some drugs. The government has banned close to 327 combination drugs. The health ministry has banned the manufacture, sale and distribution of fixed dose combinations or FDCs with immediate effect and restricted another six. This brings an end to an end, a protracted long legal battle. Let's remember that has been raging on between manufacturers of these combination drugs and the health ministry. Let's remember which has been working since 2016 to get these supposedly what they call irrational and unsafe drugs banned. Now, uh, 6,000 brands are estimated to be affected by the ban. Uh, let's, uh, some of the popular drugs that we know are going to be banned like painkiller Saradon. Uh, another is a skin cream panderm that's going to be banned. My colleague Virin now joining us uh, uh, on the phone line with more. Virin, take us through what exactly has happened. We understand there's been a ban. Also putting an end to a raging battle that's been taking place between the manufacturers of these drugs and the health ministry since 2016. Well, absolutely. I know the, uh, back in 2016, the government had banned uh, 344 of these uh, fixed dose combination drugs uh, with immediate effect. But then, uh, you know, we had uh, the, the manufacturing companies, in fact, even go to, uh, go to court, the Supreme Court, to try and stay this ban. Uh, now the government today, in fact, announcing uh, the fact that uh, there have been a significant number of drugs that have been banned, uh, 327 in total. Uh, they include the likes of Saradon, as we know, which is a painkiller, uh, Panda, which is a skin cream, uh, Gluconorm PG, which is a well-known and uh, widely used anti-diabetic drug, uh, Taxam AZ. Uh, has also been banned. Now, all these drugs, of course, uh, it's going to affect as many as 3,000 different brands, uh, which make different variations of this kind of drug. Uh, so this is uh, going to lead to a bit of a shake-up, of course. Uh, but it also, uh, once again, uh, the FDA trying to, uh, you know, basically crack down on drugs that would uh, that would be considered uh, right. to be harmful, etc., to the two patients, and therefore this decision. Yes. Yeah, so let's just, uh, you know, uh, dwell on that point which you just made that why these drugs are banned is, of course after a close scrutiny by the Drugs Technical Advisory Board that concluded in its report that there was no therapeutic justification for certain ingredients in the 328 FDCs and these could be a risk to people, Virin? Uh, you know, basically, this this is a this is a, uh, a wide study of base, uh, what these drugs actually do, how it actually benefits uh, the user uh, because these drugs, uh, some of them are quite widely used. They're extremely well-known brands. There are, there are uh, some, some supposed to be a prescription only, but as we know, Afida and Sanjana, some of, that, uh, some of those rules uh, are not followed across the country, in which case uh, they're just sold over the counter, uh, which is again another problem. But uh, the board deciding that, that banning them was perhaps the best thing to do at this point in time. Uh, this is unlikely to be the end of the story, however, with uh, 3,000 uh, brands, as I said, uh, likely to be affected. Uh, so we can expect uh, further developments in the hours to come. Right. Virin, thanks for joining us with the latest on this.